Hello and welcome to the very first Let Me Explain podcast. Listen to this podcast until the end because today I will be talking about the key that will help you to be a fluent English speaker. And the key is learn to think in English. Learn to think in English. At the beginning of the podcast, I would like to recommend you turn on the subtitle from the video setting so that you can read text besides listening to me. It will help you to understand me properly. So please check it out. Turn on the subtitle and please give me your feedback after watching this video. I should say it listening because you are just listening to me not watching, aren't you? And at the same time, it is a video of course. You know sometimes I find it very difficult to sit down, record the video and edit that video. So I thought how about making this type of pre-recorded podcast and you are listening to my very first pre-recorded podcast. It's just an audio discussion, nothing else. I'm not live now, it is a pre-recorded audio that you are listening to. So I need your feedback whether you like this type of audio discussion or not. I would like to recommend you turn on the subtitle from the video option. It will help you to understand me properly. If you are watching this video using your smartphone, at the corner of the video, there is three dots sign. Tap that three dots sign and you will find an option named captions. So tap on captions and select English. If you are watching my video using your computer, you can see there is an option named CC beside the video setting. And I also want to say please use headphones for better understanding. So if you turn on the subtitle and use headphones, you can get the full benefit of this podcast. You know in this channel I share videos which are for improving English communication skills. Especially now I'm focusing on spoken English. Maybe later on I will make videos on writing skills. And you know I also make some motivational videos and vlogs. Because I know educational videos are some kind of boring videos. So besides making educational videos, I mean English learning videos, I want to make some other videos just for mixing some spicy. And today in this podcast, I want to talk about the key to fluency. If you are struggling with English speaking, listen to this podcast until the end. Today I will be talking about the secret and the secret is learn to think in English. Yes, learn to think in English in order to be a fluent English speaker. Many of us know lots of vocabulary, English vocabulary, grammatical rules, but still can't speak fluently. Because we always think in our native language, then we try to translate it into English and then we speak. So it takes time, it breaks our fluency. Even thinking in our native language and translating make our spoken English unnatural. Because the sentence structure is often different in English and our native language. So today I will discuss how to think in English. So listen to me very very carefully. So the first step, or you can say first level. The first level is Think individual what? Think individual what? Let me explain it. For example, when you wake up in the morning, think some words like sleep, wake up, bedroom, bathroom, brush, breakfast, bread, banana, tea, coffee, cloth, etc. which are related to your morning. Then when you go to your college or university, just think campus, teacher or faculty, friends, bag, ID card, exam, presentation, class test, computer lab, library, cafeteria. So during the day, continue to think of the individual English word. These are situational words. Think of words for everything you see and do. Keep doing this exercise. Think situational vocabulary. Okay. That was level 1. Then next step or you can say level 2 
On level two, think complete sentences during the day. When you are going to your university, think I'm going to my university. It takes 20 minutes to go to my campus from my house. I have three classes today. You don't need to speak out. You just think silently. Okay. When you are watching TV, you can think I love this TV program. That actress is beautiful. I missed last episode of this show. Something like that. Think very simple sentences. So, initially you think situational words and on the next level, you should think situational sentences. Then level 3. This is the final level. Try to express everything in English. Everything means that you need to express. Like situational expressions. After every time you speak in your native language, think how would you say that in English. For example, how would you order food in an English-speaking country? How would you share a short story with your friend in English? Or how would you discuss a topic with your friends in English? But this level is not easy. You need to know some situational expressions and phrases. So you need to have some inputs. It's a different discussion. Please watch my other videos. I have shared all the techniques that you need to follow for getting inputs. There is a playlist named Tips and Tricks for Spoken English. There are some other playlists named Situational Conversations, Useful Vocabulary. So please visit my channel and I will be uploading more videos. So on the final level, on the level 3, when you are alone, like you are waiting for someone or you are sitting in a bus, you have nothing to do, then use this time to think in English. Try to describe everything in English what's on your mind. Okay, hope you have understood these three levels of thinking in English. So that's all about today's podcast. Another thing I want to say that if you want to improve your English communication skills, make English a priority and make it a part of your daily routine. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. I was going to say watching, but you are listening. Thank you so much for listening and let me know your feedback on this. Do you like this type of episode? Is it useful for you? Should I upload this on YouTube? Yes or no? I'm really looking forward to getting your feedback. So that's all about today's podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening till the end. Bye. Take care.